Looking at lead code number 429, n-airy tree level order traversal. So we're given an n-airy tree, we want to return the level order traversal of its node's values. So we want to have our output here with one, and then three, two, and four into an array, and five and six subarray into the output array. Uh, here we have this mess of a tree, this mess of an n-airy tree, and we want to have one, two, three, four, five, into a subarray, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, into a subarray, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is we're just going to use a very uh, basic template to to traverse breadth first search. It's basically a breadth first search uh, traversal, and we're just going to do it level by level by making slight modifications on it. Uh, it's very very similar to the binary tree level order traversal problem that I did earlier. So if you haven't checked that video out, highly recommend checking that out. It uses the same pattern and it'll solidify this. We're gonna make a slight variation because here we have an n airy tree. Okay, so here we have our tree, one, three, two, four, five, and six. And what we wanna do is we wanna use a queue. Okay, so we wanna use a queue uh, data structure here. So we'll have a queue, I'll just use an array um, and so we're going to go ahead and initialize it with a root. Okay, and we have this while loop here, this outer while loop, that as long as there's something in the queue, it's going to keep on doing some work. When we uh, go into the outer while loop, what we want to do is we want to save the length, because if you can see here right now, this initial value, we have the root level. We have the zeroth level, it's the first, second. We have the value that we need. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and save the length into a variable, which is uh, one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take whatever's in the queue and we're just going to map it and pull out the values, put it in an array, and then push that into the uh, outer array of result. So all we're doing is just taking this one and you know, putting it into a subarray and then pushing it into the result array, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this inner loop here. And this length variable is how many times we're going to run this inner loop. And in the inner loop, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out this one and we're going to push in all of the children of this one back into the queue. So here we're going to have three, two, and four. Okay. We break out of that while loop because the length was only one. Now it decrements down to zero and that's falsy, so we'll break out of that inner while loop. Uh, and in our outer while loop, we have three, two, and four, so when we come back here, again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just going to take all the values in the queue and put them into an array, and then push that array into the result. So here we have three, two, and four, okay? The length of this is three, okay? And now we're gonna do go into this inner loop right over here, and we're gonna run it three times. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this three and put all the children of that three into our queue. So this will be five and six, okay? We're gonna then uh, take this two, it has no children, so we move on, and we take this four, this also has no children, and we move on. And now we break out of this while loop here because we, we ran it three times. We, pull, we pulled out three elements out of the queue and took all of its children and put it back into the queue. And now we have a length of two, okay? And we go ahead and take whatever's in the queue, which is five and six, which is everything in that second level, and we map it and put it into array and then push that subarray into the result array. Okay? Uh, and so now we go ahead and pull this five off. There's no children on it. There's no children on the six. We break out of this inner loop and now the queue is empty because we, we took everything out of here and we break out of this outer loop and our, we have our correct result right down here. Okay, so let's jump into the code. And again, if this doesn't make sense, just check out the other videos. We're just using the same template, just making slight modifications uh, for any sort of breadth first search level order traversals uh, that we need to do with, with trees. Okay, so here first we wanna just take care of our edge case. Uh, if there's no root, we just return an empty array. Now we wanna initialize our queue. 
and we're going to go ahead and set it with the root as our initial uh, value inside the queue and then we'll have a result. We'll initialize that to an empty array. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create that outer while loop um, while, the, while there is something in the queue. Okay, and we want to save the length of that queue uh, into a variable. So, and now we want to take whatever's in our queue, because remember, at any point when we are running in this while loop, um, whatever values in the queue will be whatever's in that level. So here we can just do a result dot push queue dot map node node dot val. The reason we're doing that is we're pushing nodes into the queue, but in the result we want the values. So now we just do a while len minus minus. All we're doing here is len is going to decrement on each time it's um, it's uh, uh, called right here, and so it'll decrement down to zero. When it gets to zero, it'll um, it'll coerce to falsy, and it'll break out break out of that loop. Let me just create some more room right here. So now we just pull out that node. Uh, from our queue. Okay, and what we want to do now, this is where, because we're not dealing with a binary tree, which is left and right, here we have children, we just want to iterate through the children. So we have that node, and we want to take all of its children and push it into the queue. So we can just do for let child of node.children. And then we just do q dot push uh, child. Okay, and then we just return our result. And that is it. Let's go ahead and run that. And yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's talk about time and space complexity uh, with this algorithm. So I know we have two while loops, and it's tempting to think that this is running in, in uh, n squared. But when you think about it, how many times are we touching each node? Okay, we're only touching each node once. Okay, we're, we're coming here and then we're pushing in the three, two, and four, and then the five and the six. So we're not going over any of the values more than once. So even though we have two loops, the time complexity is actually O of, uh, o of, n, o of n, it's linear time. And then the space complexity, how much space are we creating relative to the size of the input? Well, we do have this result here. And then we also have this Q. Uh, so we have 2n. So we can just abbreviate that to, um, to O of n on space as well. OK? So that is lead code number 429, n-airy tree level order traversal. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still confused on any of this stuff, highly recommend checking out the other videos in this, um, in this playlist. Uh, we, we have binary tree level order traversal, binary tree level order traversal 2. If you just go through these couple questions, this will get really, really solid in your mind. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.